here with living legend Lonito Donaire. I could name all, all your accomplishments, man, but I'd literally be here all day. First and foremost, man, the ageless wonder. How you doing? I've, I've, I'm great, man. I feel amazing. That's good, man. What's it called? Uh, how's the, how do you feel about your fight coming up? You know, you got the Mexican versus the uh, Filipino rivalry. I think it's a little underrated in my in my uh, view with uh, with the boxing public because, man, that has given us a lot of uh, great fights. Uh, what can you uh, touch on that? I mean, it's always great. You know, I have so much respect for Mexican fighters. Sometimes they call Mex uh, Filipino Mexicans because we show up like Mexicans sometimes, you know, and that's why we have that camaraderie. You know, uh, when it comes down to fighting, we just show our we show we show our our, our hearts and, and and our toughness, and we show we give a good fight. Um, so for me, you know, fighting with Alejandro Santiago, I, I can't I can't underestimate him because I know what Mexican fighters can do. You know, definitely. And with the vacant WBC belt on the line, are you excited to break your own record? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not so much excited to break my own record. I'm just excited to win the fight. That's it, and become champion again ten times. Ten time champions, wow, that's a, uh, what's it called, big accomplishment. Yeah. And would you want to, from becoming champion, you said you, you're not looking to retire. You, like Errol Spence says, it's straps, he said, you want to uh, become undisputed champion. That's one of your goals? 100%, man, that's that's what gives me, that, that's given me a lot of purpose. And going on to a different uh, topic with the cool, uh, cool Boy and Anyway fight, I don't know if you watched it or not, but I mean, he made an excellent fighter, like ordinary. I mean, the only pro the only fighter that Anyway has had problems with is with you. You arguably won that fight. You know, you you broke his what his retina, I believe, and his and his and his uh, and his nose. Can you tell us about that fight uh, with Cool Boy and Anyway? And can you tell us about your experience? I didn't really see the fight yet because there's only one guy in front of me, and that is Santiago. That's that's the only thing to focus. You know, eventually I'll go watch the fight to go back. But I mean, my fight with Inoue, I hope we can dance again because, you know, I, I went and did the first fight and I wanted to do something different because I wanted a big fight and I gambled and I got caught. And that's pretty much what it is. Why not do it again? If that, and I don't have the right yet, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the right to, 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 to speak his name um, once I get all the belts. No, definitely. Once you pick up that strap, you know, a lot of doors open. Now, kicking off, you know, it sucks that you're... Uh, your car, your fight got postponed to this fight, but I mean, you're, it's on. Yeah, this is a blessing, man. Yeah, this is this is a blessing. So I'm really, really happy that it did it did fall into this big, big uh, card. Yeah, and most uh, now switching off with uh, with these last topics, uh, what do you think of the Terence Crawford and Earl Spence fight? But right now, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think about any other fighters right now, man. I, all I think about is just my fight, you know. So I can't really say too much about anybody else. No, much respect, and uh, the living legend, Lonito Donaire. Thank you. Thank for your you, time, thank man. you, brother. Appreciate it.